Good morning, Wildcats, and welcome back to another episode of Harbor Wildcat News. I'm Jitri Spresser. And I'm Jules Elkett. On today's episode, we'll take you inside the grand opening of the largest soundstage production studio within 500 miles. Plus, an athlete who got her start right here at Harbor is breaking records as she represents Arkansas on a national stage. There's no time to waste, so let's get right to it. Today is Friday, February 15th, 2019. It's our third competition show for the Arkansas Scholastic Press Association, and Harbor Wildcat News starts right, right now. now. Our top story today is about how a new addition to the film productions community is bringing national attention to Arkansas. As television production students, one of our main goals is to be successful in our field. Whether that's going on to become a news anchor, a producer, a director, or even a freelance cinematographer, our constant focus is being career ready right out of high school. Zach Held, the owner and founder of Intercut Productions, had the same goal and dream when he was in high school. And now as an adult, he's made that dream into reality. For not only him, but for thousands of cinematographers and photographers right here in Northwest Arkansas. That's right. Intercut Productions, along with Kickstart Entertainment, got together to create the largest soundstage within 500 miles to kickstart the industry here. There is a goal to attract major companies located right here in Northwest Arkansas, such as Walmart, Tyson, and J.B. Hunt. I personally made the trip and got to be a part of the amazing grand opening of this game-changing studio. Here's the story. Here in Northwest Arkansas, the film industry has grown tremendously over the past several years. Farm Studios in Hiawassee, Arkansas is the newest and largest soundstage within a 500 mile radius, bringing new opportunities to the area. One, two, three. Yay! Yay! Farm Studios is a production house in Hiawassee, Arkansas. Um, it houses Intercut, which is the company that I work for, and basically it's just a giant production stage where you can come and shoot whatever you want, photographers and videographers alike. Farm Studios is not only a place for people to come and create, but it's also a big step in putting Northwest Arkansas on the map. So my vision for, North, for Arkansas in general is that we build an ecosystem of production, um, producing several films and a television series here every year. So Farm Studios for me is just one very big, very giant component of a bigger vision that I have for Northwest Arkansas and Ar the state of Arkansas uh, statewide. The shared vision for Farm Studios came to life nearly four years ago, and today it sets the bar high for production in the area. So the idea came um, shortly after BFF year one, um, after the Bentonville Film Festival, after its first year. Uh, Jason Netter and I sat down together at Onyx and uh, had this vision for what a studio in Northwest Arkansas could look like um, that would service the brands but also provide opportunity for us to bring long form production into the area. Um, and this is, this is what we dreamed up. Um, now, four years later, it's here. Three years later, it's here. From dream to reality, Zach's vision has become a crucial part of growing the industry for the future generation. I think Northwest Arkansas has grown tremendously because just since I've been in high school, when I first went into high school, I didn't know that film classes existed. And now we have one of the largest sound stages. High schoolers first have to be passionate about media and be excited about any part of making film or television or telling stories or being behind the camera, in front of the camera, um, and then reach out. Reach out to Intercut production studio, production company, or Kickstart Entertainment, or any of the other. There's amazing production companies here in Northwest Arkansas. We are looking to build what I call an ecosystem. Uh, so that means we need talent. We need crew. Anything that you dream of doing, we are looking for people who know how to do that. From professional cinematographers to high school students with a passion for filmmaking, Farm Studios is bringing creators together in an effort to make dreams a reality. For HBWN, I'm Gentry Spresser. Farm Studios is one of the only studios in the region that allows a full semi-trailer to pull into the studio for large productions. With True Detective just wrapping up with a full production right here in Arkansas, and now this studio opening, the film productions in Arkansas is sure to gain a lot of attention, and this will do amazing things for the future. In other news, 
Harbor High School has seen a share of incredible athletes move on to the next level to be incredibly successful. Names like Michael Sanchez for basketball, Josh Frazier, who went on to play football for Powerhouse Alabama, but also Peyton Stembaugh. We had the privilege of having her sister, Olivia, as an anchor last year, but Peyton has made an incredible name for herself over the past few years. At Harbor, she shattered countless records, as well as received the honor of Gatorade Athlete of the Year twice. She graduated Harbor High School and went on to represent the state at the University of Arkansas, where she continued her success. Since then, she has been the 2018 NCAA champion of the 60-meter hurdles, an eight-time All-American, and holds the Razorback record for 60-meter hurdles. Nick suited up and went trackside to get the inside scoop to her success and what's in store for her future. Let's take a look. From the fastest runner in the state to one of the fastest runners in the country, Peyton Chadwick has defied all expectations to bring her where she is today. It's been a fantastic journey to see Peyton develop into the woman, the athlete, and now the wife <laughs> that she has become. But Peyton is one of those athletes that actually listens. She's coachable. Um, Peyton had a real goal as a young child to run in the Olympics, and we always thought that was really sweet and cute and everything. But as she started to develop into an athlete, my wife and I started realizing this could be legitimate. Growing up, Peyton, similar to thousands of kids across the country, dreamt of being an Olympian. Yet for Chadwick, she soon realized that this dream could one day be a reality. I really enjoyed uh, waking up daily and knowing that I could get better today. I chased after my dreams of potentially becoming an Olympian. Growing up, I always watched the Olympics in my household. It was a major thing. We watched winter and uh, summer Olympics. But getting just to watch them made me realize I want to do that too. Like, I can do that too. I'm pretty good at track. I'm fast. Like, why can't I do that too? So um, now that the Olympic trials are a year away, a year and a half away, it's so close and I just all the hard work, I, I know that I can potentially be there, be in that spotlight. For Peyton, transferring from Oklahoma her freshman year, she quickly fit in and became acquainted with the Razorback team that she soon would make an impact on. She's a huge contributor to the team, and everybody looks forward to her running the relays and doing the individual events. So she's scoring a lot of points, but it's a big impact to the team as well. Last year around this time, we, we just decided to focus in on the hurdles. And so ever since then, she's been progressing. I've had quite a few professional athletes, and she displays all the qualities that a professional athlete would have. The, the greatest thing that I've always seen in Peyton is if she gets knocked down, if she gets a setback, she puts her mind to it, and she always presses forward. They say to be the best, you have to beat the best. Yet for Peyton, it's about working hard each and every day to become the athlete she's always dreamed of being. For HBWN, I'm Nick Luchel. We couldn't be more proud of how she's not only represented Harbor High School, but Arkansas as well. I don't know about you, but just maybe we'll see her in the 2020 Olympics. Fingers crossed and good luck to Peyton. We're going to take a quick commercial break, but don't go anywhere. When we come back, we've got a story about how elementary students are making a difference in our community. Harbor Wildcat News will be right back. We came to Arvest Bank to see what makes it different. It's a community bank that really reaches out to the customers to make them feel special. I feel special every time I come in here. They want to be involved in the community. They want to be part of the community. They support our university, our athletic department. They've told us that they would have, they could have a fleet of volunteers there to help this year if we need it. I see them at a lot of our Hispanic um, community events that we do. I can't think of another bank in the city that has such a big community presence as Arvest. Arvest Bank, our customers say it best. Welcome to McLarty Daniel Country. With six giant locations and over 3,000 vehicles, Northwest Arkansas is McLarty Daniel Country. Stop by one of our showrooms today to shop our full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. McLarty Daniel is proud to be your premier automotive destination. Need service? We work on all makes and models six days a week. Plus, our full service collision center can repair anything from a minor ding to a major collision. Have you visited McLarty Daniel Country? Visit us online at McLartyDaniel.com. Springdale Today, winner of 12 Student Pillars of Excellence from the Mid-America Chapter of the Emmys, winner of six consecutive All-Arkansas Awards, and member of the Broadcasting Hall of Fame from the Arkansas Scholastic Press Association. Springdale Today, your award-winning source for information and entertainment in the Springdale Public School. Find us on YouTube. Choose the wellness centers at Springdale Schools. 
The wellness centers in Springdale are perfect for students and teachers. Teachers can go during their planning period and parents don't have to miss work for students to receive medical care. Offering sports physicals, kindergarten physicals, vaccinations, well child checks, acute care, and more. Wellness centers are located at a school near you. Wellness centers in Springdale Schools, we are your medical home. Hey Nick, catch! Welcome back. Schools around the nation are becoming more aware of the need for active learning and finding something that students can be passionate about in order to learn in a more conducive way. Local elementary students were tasked with coming up with a project they could complete within the community and come up with a passionate way to continue education well after school hours. Hannah Maggard was standing by and made the trip to John Tyson Elementary School to see just how one book can change a life. Take a look. Early reading helps the development of the brain and communication skills. Here at Tyson Elementary, a few classes have decided as a passion project to make little libraries for the neighborhood to encourage students to read. I feel it is important to read because, especially for a child, because it, when you go to school, you're going to need to be able to read to be able to be successful. And because when you get older, you're going to need to be able to read math problems and uh you're, and those type of things by yourself, and so you're going to be able to have to know how to read. And so we're trying to help do that stuff so we can help kids be successful. Reading impacts students early and later on in life. Therefore, John Tyson has found a way to fund the Passion Project. A Passion Project is an opportunity for students to select what they would like to learn about, to really delve deeply into the learning, and to be excited about projects that they make and the learning that they do. The teacher surveyed the students and found out what they were interested in. They had the opportunity to choose to be geographers who decided where the Tyson Free Libraries would be located. They had the opportunity to be teachers and they decided um, when we would refill the libraries. They had the opportunity to be librarians and the librarians selected the types of books that would go into the Tyson Free Libraries. The other group was the public relations group and they had the opportunity to make videos for the John Tyson Elementary School Facebook page. Those videos will tell community members where the Tyson Free Libraries are located, how to access them, and we actually made those in three different languages. John Tyson has not only positively affected current students, but also former students. Um, I was a reader at Tyson, and I always had a book with me. And so if the Passion Project was going on when I was here, I would have totally jumped at the chance. Um, I would have loved to have a book like right outside my house and everything. So I think the kids will really enjoy this. And for those that aren't a reader, I think it will make them be a reader because they will see it, and then they'll see their friends doing it, which will make them want to. For more information about Tyson's free little libraries, go to the John Tyson Facebook page. For HBWN, I'm Hannah Maggard. The Tyson Little Free Libraries are scattered throughout the community. You can take a book, and the goal is that you leave one as well, so the young student's education never ends. In other news, one of our new segments we started last week was called Discover Arkansas, where we attempt to educate Arkansans about the unique landscape and features that you may not know about. This week, our team ventured out to Petty Jean Park, the first national state park in Arkansas, where students not only learn the value of the park itself, but the importance of putting down electronic devices and connecting with the outside. Take a look. Arkansas is known as the natural state. Petty Jean is Arkansas's first state park, and it provides visitors with an opportunity to explore what the state has to offer. We're living in an age where we're all just surrounded by technology and never have any time to leave the house. Um, but that made me realize that maybe I should be going outdoors a lot more. I have not walked a mile in so long as I am always in my room. But throughout the day, walking all these trails, I had a lot of fun with it. Scaling the rocks, um, looking at the very beautiful views of the river, the creeks, and the water. 
This is my first time coming to Petty Jean State Park. In my opinion, it is totally worth it. It made me feel as if I were a kid still, you know, just exploring these woods that I've never seen before. Overall, it was a great experience for the first time. People come here for a lot of reasons, some to camp, some to hike. There are a lot of beautiful places to see here, scenic vistas along the trails, canyon walls, uh, Cedar Falls, our, our big waterfall. Find a nice day and come see us. We have trail maps in the Vista Center. Be sure to get one of those so you won't get lost. People need to get outdoors and experience nature more. It's good for you. It does something deep down good and I don't know too many people who go home at the end of the day after a hike or spending a day in the park that don't feel better because of that. My favorite part was definitely the waterfall. Once we actually got to it, I was like super amazed. You know, I could hear it from miles away and I was like, oh, that's, that's okay. But like when I actually saw it, I was like devastated. Going down the trails, um, they were super beautiful. The coolest thing about it is that it's so close to us. It's in Arkansas, it's a natural state. Visiting Petty Jean is a great way to experience the outdoors and hiking trails here with your friends and family. It's absolutely worth your time to come enjoy the beautiful environment. For HBWN, I'm Noxie Bowen. Pettigene State Park is located in Marlton, filled with hiking, camping, waterfalls, and fishing. There's plenty to do and discover. Be sure to continue to watch HBWN as we continue to explore Arkansas and help you discover just what makes Arkansas so unique. Tonight, the Wildcats go on the road to Van Buren. And if you can't make the drive, as always, our WCSN team will be there for all live event coverage. The season is wrapping up with conference play ending next, week, next Friday, and then state tournament begins. Let the March Madness begin. That's all we've got for you this week. We won't be having a show next week as we begin shooting our annual episodic short film, The Studio. But as always, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook to keep up with all things Wildcat TV. On a personal note, we would like to take the time out of our show to wish you a very special happy birthday to one of the most incredible people to walk the earth. That's right, Gentry. How could we forget? You know, it's times like these that we need to step aside and realize just how valuable this person truly is. Since the dawn of time, he has been there for all of us, catering to our every need, sacrificing himself for the betterment of us. And he has incredible hair. That's right, Jules, and he definitely didn't write this in the script to make us say it. We're talking about you, Mr. Sherman. You are an incredible guy with a dedicated passion to educating kids and changing their lives. And he also has incredible hair. Mr. Sherman, for um, all of us here at HBWN, happy birthday. For HBWN, I'm Gentry Spresser. And I'm Jules Ellicott. We'll see you next time, cats.